news, everyone. I'm Lucian Ferrari in the history department. He Young asked me to share a few ideas about uh, best practices concerning distance learning. And what I'd like to then share with you are some of the experiences that I've had in the past teaching students online. The two major platforms that I use are the two major pieces of technology are Canvas and Zoom, Zoom both live as well as recorded. In fact, I probably record more things on Zoom than I, than I do uh, encounter the students um, live on Zoom. So I thought that the easiest way uh, for me to share with you some of the things that I do is by giving you an example of a class that I'm developing right now, which is gonna be a heavy hybrid in the fall. It's a course on ancient Greece. The principal uh, unit is the module, and I divide the semester into bi-weekly modules. One of them is going to be personal, hopefully. Uh, I mean, we meet face-to-face, -face, and the other is going to be uh, completely online, uh, uh, asynchronous. Um, and uh, that means that there are about 27 or so modules, of course, the, uh, uh, across the, the semester, which is about 13 weeks. I start off with an icebreaker. And uh, when you go to uh, the, uh, the various elements underneath the module, you see I, I use a technology called City Labs. I think it's still called City Labs. Uh, you can ask the Learning Center uh, more about it if you don't know how to use them. But it provides for uh, a look that is a little bit more standardized. With Zoom, you can record a little entry message where in two minutes or so, you can tell them about yourself, what you intend to do with the class. Followed by what, what, what I typically do is a voiced over PowerPoint, which gives students the basics of the class and what to expect. You can tell here that I haven't quite got to that one at this stage, and then how to contact me. Um, now, if we can go to a typical uh, module, if you scroll down here, I'll show you one that I have been working on in the past couple of days. Um, this one is called uh, Archaic Greece, Politics and Society. And if you click on there, um, I give some sort of expectation of what they're going to be learning. Um, and this is then followed by a Zoom, uh, maybe 15 minute video lecture. And uh, what I'm able to do with uh, Zoom is to then split the screen like we're doing right now. And they can see the PowerPoint, the students can, and then your face shows up in the corner. So it makes for a little bit more of a personalized uh, you know, appearance rather than just your voice. And you can attach the readings there. Some of my readings are available online. Some of them I scan. Some of them I expect the students to purchase. And what I've also been doing recently is adding supplemental materials. This can be music. This can be videos. YouTube is a tremendously useful resource. You can send them to different links and so on. I make these things relatively optional. At least that's what my thinking is right now. But the dedicated students can really get a lot out of them. And you can find some really valuable things that are relatively brief as well. Uh, now, in terms of evaluation, Canvas has pros and cons. The discussion forums work pretty well. I'm imagining that many of you know that already. Uh, the quizzes can be cumbersome to set up and a little bit confusing, but once you've got them down pat, they can be a real uh, great way to evaluate the students in a different way. And also, they correct themselves. So if you make them right before the semester starts, uh, everything gets a little bit easier and you're able to field questions and uh, re respond to students in a, in a better way, in a more relaxed sort of method. Um, so I believe in preparation as much as you can before the semester begins because then you can really focus in on any problems that might arise, responding to emails, giving them good feedback on their assignments. So setting up things are important. And uh, one thing too that helps when the semester starts is having good announcements. Little uh, prompts, maybe 24 hours before an evaluation or before an important reading or exercise. And you can go to the announcements and just delay posting uh, you know, as many announcements as you like. So as the semester then unfolds, these things are sent out and you don't have to continually worry about writing them before an assignment is due. Everything's already in the can before, uh, before the semester begins. A couple of other observations for what they're worth. There's going to be some technological problems. Now, it's not always your responsibility to fix them, but I respond to the students oftentimes that they need to change their device, don't use their phone, use a computer. Uh, one major thing is the browser. Sometimes Chrome doesn't work with Canvas. Sometimes um, Mozilla works better or vice versa. So be, be flexible with that. I like to give prompt feedback. Um, now, also, when the students miss uh, work or they're late on assignments, 
this is an important opportunity to respond to them uh, rapidly. And I like to have an, an email trail when the students at the end of the semester say, well, I've missed all these three assignments. Can I get an opportunity to make them up? And I say, well, listen, you know, I, I have given you all kinds of reminders and you never bothered to reply to me. Or, you know, sometimes you really save the student and hopefully most of the time that's, that's what takes place. So advanced preparation, uh, really working with uh, the Canvas modules. Uh, those are some of my major observations. Uh, Zoom is just a, a really tremendously useful resource where you can do uh, split screens and stuff like that. Uh, so for what it's worth, you know, those are my uh, principal uh, concise observations. Uh, thank you, uh, Hee Young, for the opportunity. Also keep in mind that the Learning Center people are just awesome and they can help you a lot, I I as much as you really need. So uh, I wish you well, uh, stay well, and I, I hope the semester goes, uh, goes swimmingly for all of us.